Hey, everybody out there. Thank you so much for coming to the Pajama Mama Show, where we help moms and dads fire the boss and hire the kids. Yay! Hey, everybody. What we're trying to do right now is my son is making a lot of noise right now. He's in the kitchen because we are shut in right now in the Clayton, I think we're in Clayton County area of Georgia. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the most out of it. And I thought it'd be a great time for me to share with you what I did when I was going through my crisis as far as being a homeless mom with $36 in my checking account. And then later, there was a silver lining out of that whole experience and we could take advantage of this situation too. I became a million in 18 months. So why not you too? During this uh, COVID-19 you know, you know, crisis that we're going through right now, we're gonna try to change this tragedy into a triumph. Do you not know? That in 2008, when we had that last whole crisis and the stock market crash and the real estate boom busted, the whole bit that nobody talks about the fact that that was the optimum time that the most millionaires were born during the time of crisis. Because wealthy people understand this one important thing, that people make money in a good market and also a bad market. Wealthy people make money if it's a recession or if it's a depression, or even in the best of times. So why not you two? Let's start thinking and developing a wealthy mindset. So what I decided to do, let's make this a whole lot of fun. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the millionaire quiz. And I'm gonna show you in the next couple of series. So come back here on a daily basis. Uh, today it is, is it Tuesday? My God, time is flying. What I'm gonna try to do um, Monday to, to Friday, my goal is to be here because I really, Get it, you guys are at home, you're shut in. We're gonna maximize this time because what it means is obviously, and even if you did so-called lose your job, maybe it was a blessing in disguise. It's time for you now to start your own home-based business. That's the other thing that happened for me. I joined a phenomenal network marketing company uh, that allowed me at a nominal fee of $150 and now, uh, and within six months, I became uh, a 6,000 heir in that business opportunity. And it helped me finance my real estate venture so that I developed millions in that industry. So what I'm back in the game now for you. Why? It's real simple. It's one of the easiest, you know, type of entities to get into right now. You got over last week, 3.28 million people basically claim unemployment. Can you imagine what's going to happen this week or next week when many more people and they're estimating that 40 million people are going to be without a job soon so now it is time an opportune time to be a part of a business opportunity that you can have a great story at the end of this tragedy and you can turn it into a triumph it's all about you know having an optimistic attitude about what's going on right now and making the most out of it i know i am even though uh, matter of fact with this business opportunity that i'm in right now and i'm going to put the link below in the description area. I've only been in this business for two and a half weeks. My son and I, he's 20, and I am a, a, I'm a very young 54. <laughs> and in a nutshell, I'm gonna flip it around, turn to 20 floor, right? Uh, in a nutshell, um, uh, um, we have already made $1,000 in this business opportunity, having invested just that 150. Well, I went from being a, um, in a nutshell, uh, Started out at 150 as a, an associate. Now I am a manager now, which is I jumped over to senior associate to manager. And now he went from being associate to senior associate. And he did it while on vacation. That's the beautiful thing about network marketing. You're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. So, so let's get optimistic. Let's start thinking, developing that millionaire mindset, because that's the number one thing you got to do in order to get to the next level. So what I decided to do today, let's make it fun. We're in the house. We're shut in. Let's take a quiz. Let's gamble. And let's find out what's the truth. Let's get rid of these millionaire myths about millionaires, okay? And let's see if you can pass the millionaire quiz. So today is the first day of how to develop a millionaire or how to manifest a millionaire mindset. Okay, so we're going to take this quiz. And this came from the book. Matter of fact, this was the first book that I read when I went to the library. Like I said, I only had $36 in my checking account, but I could afford a local public library card. 
So one of the books that I checked out was The Millionaire Next Door. I wanted to become a millionaire, so I had to start to read books and think like a millionaire in order to be able to do that. So one of the first books that I got at was The Millionaire Next Door, and boy, by Thomas uh, J. Stanley, Ph.D., boy, did it open my mind. And the one thing that it did for me, it really made me realize that I had what it took to become a millionaire because most of the millionaires that got to the next level, they were in the same predicament as myself and they got to the next level. So I'm giving it some hints as far as this quiz is concerned. So let me be quiet and let's take the quiz. Okay, so number one, a millionaire, check this out right over here. We're doing number one right here. A millionaire is someone who has a yearly income of one million or more a millionaire is someone who has a yearly income of a million or more okay is that true or is that false okay let's scroll down and let's see what not what you know i don't want to scroll down because that's going to give the answer to number two too so i'm going to wait because I, I i didn't want you guys to wait but write it down right now come on join in on the phone all right let's read that again number one a millionaire is someone who has a yearly income of a million or more. All right. So is that true or false? All righty. Here comes number two. 80% of millionaires inherited their money. True or false? Number three. True or false? Approximately two-thirds of millionaires are self employed okay number four right here because of their wealth most millionaires work less than 40 hours per week true or false number five most millionaires are college graduates Is that true or false what do you think last time i checked mark zuckerberg is a billionaire, college dropout. Who else is a college dropout that we know of? I think even Bill Gates is a college dropout. Let's see here. I think even the guy that created Dell Computers is a college dropout. Hmm, let's see. All right, now number six. More millionaires carry an American Express gold card than a credit card from Sears. Well, you know, this is old. This book is about 25 years old or the case maybe I don't think Sears even exists anymore uh let's see here number seven single people are more often millionaires than married people hmm think about that true or false number eight the majority of millionaires drive a current model of a luxury import car so in a nutshell they're luxaholics they like to spend a lot of money millionaires true or false number nine most millionaires work in glamorous jobs such as sports entertainment or high tech okay so we're talking about you know singers dancers you know reality stars and all those kind of people we think are millionaires and massively successful all right number 10 we've got true or false many poor people become millionaires by winning the lottery number 10 okay so did you write down your answers true or false all right let's go see what let's scroll down and let's go see the answers to the millionaire quiz okay number one a millionaire is someone who has a net worth or one million or more so we know i know a lot of people trust me that doctors their lawyers the high-end ticket items surgeons and the like and they do make you know a quarter of a million to even a half a million dollars a year and guess what they do they buy things houses and boats and cars and rvs and take expensive trips and they're li literally living paycheck to paycheck so it's not about how much money you make that will determine whether or not you are a millionaire even millionaires okay we've heard about the millionaire celebrity basketball stars and having millions of dollars but like i said they go out and buy a million million dollar chain around their neck 
Well, they don't have no more than that million dollars, okay? We're looking for assets and not liabilities. So that's false. A millionaire is someone who has a net worth of one million or more. So we got a chance. We just got to build up to it. And that's what I did to help me become a millionaire. Okay, only, number two, only 90% of millionaires were given any money or wealth from family. So a lot of these millionaires out here were not built or were not made with a silver spoon or born with a silver spoon in their mouth. A lot of them started out, you know, poor. A lot of them started out lower middle class. A lot of them started out middle class and end up developing into the millionaire status. So it's the 80-20 rule, ladies and gentlemen. 20% of the people, yeah, they, they were given a gifted or inherited a million dollars to help them get to the next level, came, came from a family of wealth. But majority, 80% of them, basically are self-made. So that's encouraging for each and every one of us. Okay, so number three is true. 75% of millionaires are self-employed and consider themselves to be entrepreneurs. Yep, that's the key secret that we all need to realize. Owning your own small base business is the ticket to financial freedom and the potential of becoming a millionaire, not even better. You don't want to buy a job. A lot of people buy a job, meaning they become a dentist or they become a doctor and they get paid when they work. Now with COVID-19 out right now, a lot of these people, particularly dentists, they're not working right now. So if they don't work, they don't make any money. But guess what? They still have to pay those bills. So a lot of them are learning a blessing and a lesson. And I'm really suggesting that a lot of dentists and doctors and engineers and and, 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 and chiropractors and the like that only deal with linear income where they make money while they're working, that they learn and they start adopting, investing in business opportunities where they get passive and residual income, meaning that they do something one time and they get paid month after month over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over what they did years ago. It's like when James Brown, James Brown's still getting paid for, you know, a lot of his wonderful songs, Living in America, and uh, and Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud, and my brother is still getting paid to this very day, even though he's not even here. Look at Michael Jackson, because they had what are called royalties from music that they did 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago. They're still going to get paid for that music to this very day. And that's the type of money you want to make, the money that you make while you are sleeping, okay? And your money's working for you instead of you working for your money. And my business opportunity, the link is going to be in the description, is going to help you fully grasp that. And you'll be able to do that with this business opportunity, okay? All right. And it's great for those small businesses out there. Doctors, dentists, lawyers, are you listening to me? Are you realizing the importance that you have to develop multiple streams of passive and uh, residual income? Well, check out that link below, and we've got a phenomenal, stable, reputable business and company you could work with to help you do just that. All right, so um, let's see here. The next one is false. Number four is false. Most millionaires work 45 to 55 hours per week. We think that, you know, once you're in a millionaire status, hey, do me a favor, Rev, real quick. Can you give me the cord to my computer? Uh, real quick. Uh, um, no, yes, you can. Yes, you will. Thank you. Um, most millionaires work 45 to 55 hours per week. And um, that's what I had to do. When I was on my mission to develop my million, I actually worked 70 hours a week. Um, yeah, it was a challenge. I mean, literally my day started at 3 a.m. and ended about 10 p.m. Got a good four to five hours, hours of sleep. Got up the next day. It was seven days a week for a whole year and a half. But look, the consolation prize is, you know, one point, I think it was 1.2, 1.5 million dollars. I had developed, had five million dollars worth of real estate. Yeah. And then... I could get a little bit more sleep after that. <laughs> so that was false. Okay, number five. The um, Let's see here. Put the cord in right there for me and right over there. So number five is we have 80% of millionaires are college educated. So 
A lot of millionaires did have a degree. 24% have earned master's or doctoral degrees. Another 14% have earned medical and law degrees. They are well educated. Now, I will admit this book was written some, you know, 20 plus years ago. So keep that in proper perspective because today, I'll be honest with you, I do not desire for neither one of my children, unless they want to go in for to become a lawyer, unless they want to be a doctor, or unless they want to be an engineer, or that the prerequisite is that they do need a college degree in order to accomplish what their purpose or what their, their goals are in life. And so far, that's not their goals and purpose. So what they are going to do, though, is the first thing they do, and they're doing it right now, they are business owners. They are entrepreneurs. That's why we call them the kidpreneurs. Okay, they walk, work alongside them, pajama mama. So with that said, that is a good point. That is true. A lot of millionaires have college degrees, okay? All right, so now let's see this next question. As far as, you know, are they going around with this American Express card and, and with this Sears card? And they found that the 28%, about 30% of millionaires have an American Express gold card. Because you know why? Let me tell you. Let me tell you something about millionaires. Millionaires do not spend their money, their money. They focus on investing their money in investment vehicles, okay? The only savings that they have is for emergency funds in case of immediate liquidation of cash that they need for just that emergencies. You know, like the Jamaican proverb states, save money so one day money will save you and that's what you're going to want to do. But majority of your money, you want to take and invest it. So what they do is instead of buying clothes and going out and spending a lot of money on frivolous things that are not going to be there the year, they are saving, saving, saving. Matter of fact, I know a brother who basically retired as a millionaire in his 30s because he saved, what, 80% of his of his um, check and focused all of his and put it in investments and stocks and things of that nature. And he was able to. To retire at 30 so it's all about what you do with your money not how much of money you make when you are in the business of wanting to retire young and retire a millionaire okay millionaires tend to be married and stay married that's very important I mean as you all well aware for a lot of people divorce is very expensive that's one whole income leaving a household once again let me share with you another story about young millionaires um, I was just now reading a book. Oh, I forget the name of it. But these two people, they were um, engineers. And basically what they did was they lived off of one salary, the husband's salary. And the wife basically saved her $100,000. They dumped it into a lot of great investments and ETFs and things of that nature. And saved to the point where they had a million. And that they could live off of 4% of that million that they had saved in the stock market you know put it in bonds and things of that nature and they could live off of that and the dividends and um you know have a great life while they did that for the husband and then with another smart thing they did they relocated into i think it's thailand where the economy is much cheaper where you know the average good living income is i think about you live in large on thirty thousand dollars a year, and I think it was Thailand or something like that. So that's what that's another good thing you could do. Live in an environment the cost of income is a lot cheaper than what you become accustomed to. Okay, so those are just basic things that people have done to become millionaires. All right, so the next question is: so, like I said, it's very expensive to get divorced. So, and like I said, you got two people coming in. You know, right now with this COVID nineteen. They're saying that people who make, uh, couples who make uh, uh, basically $100,000 a piece, well, their philosophy is you should have been saving and investing your money because you shouldn't need any money. You're out of luck. They're not sending you a, a $1,200 check. It has to be $75,000 and below, and you'll get a $1,200 check. Okay, so, so that's what it's all about. It's all about learning how to properly save and invest your money and manage your money and not spend, 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 spend your money in order to get to the next level. Okay. Most millionaires, we're going to get to that question about, are they all driving around luxury cars? See, we see all these celebrities, they're driving around the best of cars, wearing the best of clothes, everything name brand. And as you can see, they're spending, 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 spending. And that's showing up as a sign of a poor person. Now, if you're Mark Zuckerberg and if you're, uh, what's his name, Jeff Bezos and Warren Buffett, well, yeah, yeah, you guys got 
the dough to be able to to live large but majority of people once again I always tell my kids this just because the money's in the bank doesn't mean you can spend it and especially in careers like basketball like tennis you got a short lifespan that's why you make so much money the average tennis player maybe 10 years of course Venus and Serena they're special they're extra superheroes and the like and you got LeBron James and all those other guys and you've got you know famous football players like Tom Brady and the like yeah they can they can af- they go longer than the normal time but the average lifespan in sports is a good lifespan is five years so when you get those checks, you got to maximize, you got to save and invest them in vehicles that's going to give you rate of return investment of 100% or more if, if, if you do it right, okay? So keep that in mind. No, they're not driving around luxury cars. Remember, um, also I'll share with you a story in regards to Jeff, uh, what's his name? Jeff Bezos. He, uh, 10 years into Amazon, keep in mind, the Amazon was still somewhat of a penny stock. It wasn't doing great, but it wasn't doing bad either. It was still in the growing pains. But he was still driving a 20-year-old Toyota car. He still was um, you know, wearing clothes that he had wore for years. Uh, still, still lived in the same house in a typical middle-class neighborhood. They were clueless that a, a multimillionaire was among them. But that's the whole thing. In your neighborhood right now, they are millionaires. They just live a very humble life, live below their means, and more importantly, live a simple lifestyle so they can save their money, invest their money so that they can retire early and have enough money for retirement. Okay, so let's continue. Most millionaires work in very ordinary jobs. Yeah, they are paving contractors or have a pest control business. Yeah, I know a lot of millionaires that are plumbers, electricians, that are, 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 are um, what, what do we call, um, thrift store owners, um, discount grocery stores, um, um, you know, the least, you know, like I said, well, we always think lawyers and we always think doctors are millionaires because they got a chance to save. But surprisingly, they're the most inconspicuous type of occupation, maids, uh, you know, people in a, a maid company and the like, carpet cleaners and the like. Once again, it's what they're doing with their money. They're saving, they're investing. They got a great little, great deal of tax loopholes, avoidance and things of that nature that allow them to soak away a lot more money for retirement than not. So as you can see, we got a lot of misconceptions about millionaires, okay, that we need to change in order to develop that millionaire mindset. And more importantly, we see, hey, that sounds like me. I can do that. I am doing that. It's just what you're doing with your money. So the odds of winning a one one million or more in a lottery um, is one in twelve million. Wow, probably higher than that now. This is like I said, twenty years old. And then you've got uh, the birth of quadruplets, one in seven hundred thousand. Hey guys, you know, excuse the, the the noise in the background, but we're trying to make it here. We're, in, we're stuck in the house with with each other, so this is reality, you know. Pajama Mama show today. So anyway, um, the key more of the story is I don't know if you know this statistic also that um, majority of of lottery winners who make millions of dollars are broke within two years. And I remember when the lottery came out, I'm showing my age, I'm dating myself, but I remember this one gentleman, he got $8 million and he was broke in two years and people were flabbergasted. They could not understand how could that be, but it's real simple. You see, ladies and gentlemen, he had a poverty consciousness. Nobody educated him about money and finances. So he's financially literate, poverty consciousness. So what he did when he was poor with money, which is probably spend, 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 never save, never manage his money. That's why he was broke. That's why he was playing the lottery, looking for a lucky day. But the best luck that you can do for yourself is create your own luck. Okay, because luck is preparation, meeting an opportunity. And what that means is not saying not to play the lottery, but let's say uh, in a nutshell, don't depend on the lottery. But what I would even suggest you to do the greatest lottery you could do right now is bet on yourself is to invest in yourself in a really cool economical business opportunity like the one i want to share with you it's absolutely phenomenal ladies and gentlemen like i said the last business opportunity that i did of network marketing or sometimes they call it multi-level marketing sometimes they call it direct sales i only invested a hundred and about 150 60 dollars in that business opportunity and within a year's time i made six figures you go figure that out right keep in mind a year's time without all this education but i learned why i earned i had 
tons of million, millionaire mentors to guide me every single step of the way. They showed me how to manage money uh, and help me invest in my real estate uh, in a higher ticket item that helped propel me to become a millionaire. So I, today in 2020, I've got another one, another fabulous, stable company. It's been around for 48 years, ladies and gentlemen. And the gentleman, a multimillionaire that brought me into this business opportunity, Within this business opportunity, he already created 21 millionaires. He created hundreds of thousandaires. Come join us. If you are looking for a job, even if you have a job, even if you're coming out of a job or want to go into a job, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you right now, J-O-B is just over broken. You're in the business of making somebody else rich. Now's the time. This is the blessing and the lesson. It's time for you to own your own because when you're your own boss, you're not going to fire yourself. <laughs> That's for sure. So check the link down below. Click it on and check out this new phenomenal video that's going to share with you the business opportunity that I'm in right now that I am predicting that I'm going to become a millionaire in this business opportunity and own six figures. Maybe you can too, but you won't be mad at me if you become a thousandaire or more importantly, if you just make an extra 60, 50 to $60,000 a year during the time where you were completely out of a job. Like they say, if you can't beat them, join them. So if you want to join those millionaires, Come on board. Let's have some fun. Click the link below in the description. Check out that video because it may change your life forever. This is the Pajama Mama Elon Bomani. I will see you at the top, over the top. More importantly, cha-ching-ching. -ching. I will see you at the bank. Bye-bye for now. Stay safe and stay healthy.